Over the past decade or so, we have seen a great many changes in the agricultural sector, with farming no longer being considered by the vast majority as a life away from technology. In fact, with studies showing that population growth is set to increase by another 3 billion more lives by 2050, industrialized farming has become necessary and changed things for the better. But what are the modern changes that are being used to increase productivity around the globe? And can we expect any more changes in the future? Well, whether you're a farmer yourself or just looking to learn more about one of the most important industries in the world, you've come to the right place, as we're about to take a look at the modern technologies currently in use by the farmers of today. So strap yourselves in and get ready for an educational time, as things are about to get interesting. But before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications turned on, so you don't miss out on any of the new videos we post. Number 1. GIS-Based Agriculture Farming is an industry as old as time itself. It was as early as the hunter and gatherer phase, when our ancestors decided to form larger groups that could no longer be supported by an unsteady stream of berries and meat. The need arose to feed the mouths of people consistently, which is what led to the area of tilling land and harvesting crops. And honestly speaking, not much has changed regarding our need to be constantly fed. Without food, we find it incredibly difficult to concentrate, making it the number one source of energy that enables the world to better itself through technological innovation. And although it might feel as if the food we buy comes directly from the shops we frequent, it is still because of farming that food can be purchased from these venues. Since the demand for food has increased so dramatically over the past decade, it must also be said that we've seen a rise in the amount of farmers that are currently producing food and other forms of resources on their farms. Because of the higher demand, we have also seen a deviation from what used to be the usual scenario of a farm being left in the family on a plot, which was used for generations. Half the battle when it comes to farming is choosing a great piece of land, after all. So if you know that you have a productive piece in your family, there's no reason to give it up. But not all new farmers have this luxury, with a great deal of them being first-timers on the job, so how do they pick the right piece of land without risking the failure of their business before even getting started? Well, this brings us to our first piece of modern technology currently being used around the world, which is GIS software. For those of you who aren't aware of the importance of GIS, let's begin with explaining that it stands for Geographic Information System, and is composed of technology which is able to map current and future changes in precipitation, temperature, crop yields, plant health, and a number of other pieces of useful information. By using a system such as this, a farmer is able to have a reliable fortune teller at his side, which in turn allows him to see whether a piece of land will yield enough crops to make the business a success. Being able to tell how much precipitation a piece of land is likely to receive is incredibly helpful in the farming industry after all. GIS software also enables the use of GPS-based applications, along with smart machinery to optimize the application of, let's say, fertilizer and pesticide. So, since the farmer making use of the GIS system is able to see which portions of his land are more useful than others, and at what times, he will also be able to save money, effort, and time by only making use of these certain areas. It might sound like a ridiculous idea, but since we know that soil needs time to recover, the principle of planting as much as possible to grow as much as possible is no longer a valid principle to live by. Farmers have actually increased their productivity by making use of this technology to grow with one portion of their land while resting the other, and then switching over when the system tells them to. Suffice it to say, farmers who make use of GIS systems have their productivity skyrocket, so if you're looking for your own boost, you know exactly where to invest. Number 2. Satellite-Derived Data As we've just seen, predictability is incredibly important when it comes to the agricultural sector. No hardworking farmer wants a surprise while tending to his crops, regardless of whether it would make life more exciting or not. This is why farmers make use of data derived directly from satellites, which they are able to view through a selection of various service applications. Like GIS systems, these applications can be used to predict crop yields over time, but also allow the farmer to take part in real-time field monitoring which essentially allows him to keep an eye on a variety of threats that might be problematic. So while a GIS system is more predictive than any other system on the market, the various satellite-derived data applications are both predictive and observant. These applications also involve views of the Earth that are spread across the various spectra, allowing the applications to work across a number of different spectral indices. This would include the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, for example, which allows for the detection of vegetation content, number of plants currently wilting, and overall health of the crops currently being grown. Another incredible index of use is the Canopy Chlorophyll Content Index, which detects the amount of nitrogen that is currently being spread throughout the soil. Lastly, we have the Modified Soil Adjusted Vegetation Index, which is designed to minimize soil background impact at the earliest developmental stages of plants. 
As you can tell, the data obtained directly from satellites through the use of these applications is incredibly useful to farmers and allows them to not only keep a keener eye on their crops, but operate with the efficacy that was impossible to achieve prior to the development of this technology. Suffice it to say, productivity has thankfully gone up as a result of its use. Number 3. Data from Drones It used to be that farmers could only get one perspective of their crops, which was obviously from their very own eyes. And while this is by far the best way to farm when you have yourself a small, controllable whole holding or garden, things get a bit tougher when you're running an industrialized farm. Keeping tabs on a large holding is incredibly difficult, after all, with many farmers wishing that they could get a larger and better perspective on things to assist them in making sure of the success of their yields. With the assistance of drone, farmers can now get the necessary perspective that was previously missing, allowing them to define crop biomass, plant height, the presence of weeds, and water saturation of large areas of land with more precision than they ever felt possible. The data derived from these drones is considered to be a lot more accurate than derived from a satellite, with a far greater resolution as well. It must also be said that when these drones are locally operated, they also provide valuable information a lot faster than any scouts could. Many farmers have also taken to using drones to apply insecticide to certain hazard areas with precision, all the while reducing the likelihood of direct exposure, leading to chemical poisoning. As you can imagine, this is a far better process than spreading insecticide across all the plants with the use of an aircraft. And while drones are incredibly useful in the field, they come at a pretty high price. They're also almost useless when it comes to the mapping and monitoring of large areas. This is why farmers often use the data collected from satellites to designated hazard areas, using the drones they have then to tackle these hazard areas and treat them accordingly. It is thus a complementary use of this technology which truly leads to higher productivity. Number 4. EOS Crop Monitoring The Earth Observation System, or EOS for short, has also created another system which is starting to pick up steam when it comes to the agricultural market. This crop monitoring system gives farmers access to to high-resolution satellite images, which ensure effective field management that goes over and above other forms of satellite-based applications. In fact, the system is considered to give the farmer as much information as he would have obtained by using satellite data as coupled with drone data. But since this new system essentially cuts out the middleman, the farmer is able to save both time and money with a simple subscription. The digital platform also ensures that farmers are able to speed up their decision-making processes so as to not miss any crucial points of field treatment. But by far the most useful of any of the systems systems that EOS has employs when it comes to crop monitoring is its scouting application. While using the app, the farmer in question is able to assign multiple tasks to scouts with just a few clicks of his mouse. By adding a field, dropping a pin, and then selecting a specified task, a scout will be able to move directly to that field in real time and check the problem areas. The checking options available range from pest activity to weed management, immediately recording this information on the broader map. This gives the farmer an overview of what is taking place on his farm and then allows him to take the appropriate steps to combat the problems that have been designated. Think of it as a game of sorts, which allows you to know what to do in order to yield the greatest number of crops. The system also comes packed with weather analytics that allow the farmer to analyze weather data in line with the plant condition data that has been obtained from satellite imagery. By knowing this information, farmers are also able to apply irrigation and prevent terrible scenarios like frost and heat damage, which can really put a damper on their yields. Number 5. Technologically Innovative Machinery Last up, industrialized farming would be next to impossible possible if farmers nowadays didn't make use of innovative machinery to actually get the job done. Having all the information in the world means nothing if you can't actually do anything about it, after all. Considering the different implements and pieces of machinery that are required depending on the specific crops being yielded, you won't be surprised to hear that this category is far too broad to actually get into, as it ranges from automatic harvesters to large, industrialized sorters. Either way, it's through the combination of all this technology we mentioned that productivity is brought up to scratch. Did you know that farming was such a complex process? Feel free to let us know what you think in the comments section down below. 